amavere amarurano. Every shop is closed for refilling the gas because it's Saturday. Because it's Saturday and many people are SDAs, so they close on Saturdays. So now we have to light the charcoal. Mm. And I'm not even good at it, but not only but it will go on a charcoal left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> subscribe, subscribe. And it's raining. It's raining. Right, we are going to wrap this the traditional way. I'm going to show you. So we put it like this first. Can you talk about it? Oh, so we put it like this. We spread them like this so that they remove the water, the the natural water that's come from Matoke. Mm. And then for three days, and then we'll show you the next step for ripening bananas. Mm -hmm. The store. The store. The store. The store. The 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 Kyoto. It gives good uh, temperature. Mm. We put the banana leaves, dry banana leaves first to store. This is how we ripen bananas. So the water has been removed. You put them totally, so that's when you put them here on the pot. And then you store them for how many days? Quapot. Quapot it will take one week mm -hmm. to ripen. And don't... Not one week. It depends on the day. You may come. Oh. Mm. So you have to check if it's uh, if you make that if it's broken you don't put here mm. so that it doesn't disturb the others. You have to check. You have another leaves. Leaves. Okay. I'm sure I've done. So, we put the leaves. I'm not going to make them. This is Oh, so this will only need with leaves to bring in the warm temperature. Then, use this. Put it out. Which one? Yeah. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Make warm quick. Hmm? So that shall uh, ripen. We'll come back after three, three to four. When three, it, one week. Oh, when it uh, 
brings the smell when it brings the smell mm. we will come back when when it ripens there will be a sweet banana smell we'll come and check maybe three to four days we'll be back okay <laughs> Today we are eating traditional vegetables. They grow wild on our mountain on the hills and we pluck them from there. This is called Sa Echin Saga in my language. Let me know in your language what this is called. Sagate. Oh, it's called spider plant in English. Let me know if you eat this kind of vegetables. So I'm I'm preparing it now removing the stems from the leaves and it's also medicinal so that's what I'm doing now Guys, we are going to show you how to do wash a calabash. You put hot water on the calabash. Man, I just stone to make. And some small stones to wash it. This is my mother, by the way, guys. So, guys, this is the Put water on this kerandi, and we are waiting. We make a sabuni. So and hot water, and then wait for ten minutes uh, for it to soak, and then we'll wash it. This is a calabash made from. It's called a calabash where we put our milk. Pumpkins. The calabash, no. So it's made from a fruit, uh, a pumpkin. You know the pumpkins, but you know the pumpkins. Yeah, if you know what it's made from, let me know in the comment section below. Yeah, so I'm going to wash it, and I'm going to show you how we ferment our milk to become maziwa lala. So it's called kif kif. Yes, maziwa lala. <laughs> yeah, so we okay, will come back now. I'm washing my utensils and then I'll show you how we ferment it. Socks, I can't catch you. to Ano ko ay ano sa yan tapi ko ay ro mong nolyan pero magusay ko aros. So the stones help to clean it from inside. You can see it's already. Wash with soap and water. Uh -huh. so, this thing, green calabash in English, in my language is called, in my language I can see it's called ekerandi. Ekerandi. So it's clean. I'm going to put it to air dry.
So guys, this is several days later. This is my Kelandi. It's clean, completely clean and fresh. I'm gonna show you how we ferment our milk, and it's called Amavere Amarano in my language, which is Kisi Gusi. And it's already fermented. I think you can see it. Yeah. So this is how you put it. You have to have. You have to start with fermented milk. I think you can see the way it's it's already fermented so this is the milk from the cow so we usually do put a little bit each day we put small quantity a glass and it's very warm it's very warm I think I should just do this so every day when we milk the cow it's it has to be hot milk. You have to put the hot milk on the fermented, fresh milk, yeah. Each day we take a cup and we put it there and then we close it with, a, with a, the banana leaves or the corn for maize. Yeah, that will be the bottle. And that's how we do it. Let it ferment. It's still little up to here, so We'll drink it when at least it's up here. So every day we put a cup of fresh milk here and we'll have ourselves uh, milk. Yep, that's how we do it. For your video. <laughs> we'll come back later after maybe three days. That's when it will be really good fermented and you know. Drink a maize. 72 hours later. Now it's after three, after three days, the bananas are ripe. They are over, uh, people have already started eating it, guys. People love banana in my home. So let's take one and eat. Like mama, nana nimiki. They are ripe. So the banana is right there and smells so good. <laughs> Let me know if you how you ripen your bananas in your village if you like banana ripe bananas. Let me know in the comment section. Mm. Cut out of Nikki Peter Voka Maya. Eh, oh, oh, this grandma. Fala, eh, Nikki Peter. So yeah guys, that's how we take care of our hair. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe. You are in the road to 40,000 subscribers. Also, subscribe to my sister Mona Africa. She's holding the camera right now. She's in the road to 2,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. <laughs>